Well, I didn't think we um, we didn't come out with much fire, and I'm disappointed for our fans. I mean, I just uh, great environment, and to essentially end the half with no offensive rebounds and let Carolina uh, dismantle us on the glass. Um, uh, I can't tell you how disappointed I am in, in, in that effort alone. I thought they were the aggressor. I thought that they, they, they won uh, damn near every 50-50 ball in the game. Their pressure really bothered us. Uh, we, we were very stagnant on the offensive end, especially in the first half. And that was a direct reflection of, of Carolina's, um, you know, extending out and passing lanes. We knew it was coming. We didn't handle it very well. And uh, conversely, we, we, we put ourselves in positions where we were trying to defend and transition backpedaling simply because they were, they were uh, really shots that had no chance of going in. Our turnovers didn't kill us, but we had some live ball turnovers that obviously we resulted in uh, easy fast break points, but I just thought our entire offense um, let Carolina push the ball down our throat, and I thought their 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 basketball moved a heck of a lot faster on the offensive end than ours did. Um, so you know they're a really good team, and uh, feel like we flip flop performances from Chapel Hill to, to Louisville. Coach, it really seemed offensively that uh, guys would hesitate. Um, you know, not necessarily take the open shot or drive into the lane and not really know where they wanted to go. Was it just a simple fact that Carolina was playing harder or that guys just weren't being decisive with the basketball? Well, there's no doubt Carolina played harder than us, you know, which, again, as a coach, is really disappointing. Um, you know, I, as I told our guys in the locker room, that's the one thing you can control. You can control your effort and your attitude, and I thought um, that uh, our effort wasn't what it's been. Uh, offensively, it really wasn't about effort so much as – you know, being a little bit tougher, uh, getting open. Again, I give Carolina a lot of credit because they were extending out in the passing lanes, but uh, it wasn't anything different than they've shown since we played them last. Their pressure was much greater today than it was on their home floor two and a half, three weeks ago. And uh, our response in handling that um, was really poor. You know, we held it. Uh, that may have been where you, where you felt like we were hesitating. We weren't, the ball wasn't moving. Guys weren't driving in the lane. Uh, spraying it out and playing off one another, uh, so we it resulted in you know guys having to go one on one, not having to go, but going one on one, and you're not going to win. You're not going to have really good offensive possessions uh, when you play that way, uh, especially the way our team's built and the way that we uh, practice every day. So that that put us out of sorts. And again, I give Carolina a lot of credit, but we we needed to handle it a lot better. Also, uh, Stephen Enoch, uh, 0 for 1 in the game after being such a big time factor in the first game. Just kind of talk about how you know that happens. Was it just him, or was it execution? What what happened with that? Um, combination of things. I don't think Steve played very well. I think he'd be the first to tell you that. Uh, we needed him to establish himself uh, under the basket, and um, he didn't do that for us. And, and until I can see the film, uh, you know, there were a couple times where we tried to get it to him. There were either live ball turnovers, or you know, the ball got sort of muffled and ends up being out 12, 15 feet away from the basket. And again, not that he's uh, not effective out that far, but he's a lot more effective if it's uh, feet are under the rim. And uh, we had to do a better job of get him the ball, but I don't think Steve worked as hard as he could have. Um, and uh, without a post presence, uh, it becomes a problem for you on offense. Chris, how much was it a factor, the, the fact that they out-rebounded you guys by 17 and had 18 second chance points? Well, I mean, I just think that, as I told our team, how do we have four or five offensive rebounds in the first three, four minutes of the second half but not one in the first half? Um, again, that's a little bit of function of your offense because, again, some of the shots were coming out of one-on-one out of, uh, -on -one situations where we were taking surprise shots. Um, credit Carolina for that. But our effort and, and toughness early on for whatever reason, was missing. And that's why I'm, I'm disappointed for our fans. They were all excited about the game, and, uh, and, and we no-showed in those areas. Um, and that hasn't been a sign of our team, but Carolina's really good on the glass. We knew that, but um, I'd be surprised when I checked the film if we were trying to block out, which is hard to believe.
actually got to go. He talked in the first few seconds about he would dismantle the glass in the library just a little bit. Is it simply a function of effort at that point, or what were some of the things that were really good? Well, I've, I've always been a b big believer that when the shot goes up, you block out the person that you've been guarding for the possession. I've tried that and inst instilled that into our team. And um, it's, it's ebbed and flowed. You know, we've had some games against really good offensive rebound teams that um, we took away that component of the game. And we've had nights like tonight. We've had nights like NC State, uh, Michigan State, where their will and our concentration level and toughness level, uh, our remembrance of blocking out was absent. Um, that falls on me because if I haven't conditioned our guys when the shot goes up to find their matchup and block out, uh, then I haven't done my job or I'm playing the wrong guys. Could you sense a, a performance like this coming either in practice or warm-ups or, or anything like that? No, I thought we had a great uh, great practice. You know, I felt like the hay was in the barn. Um, and so that's why I'm a little bit, you know, at a loss right now. But it's basketball. We don't have time to feel sorry for ourselves. We got a game in, what, 36 hours, 48 hours, whatever it is. First segment of the don't have a loan like this that don't have a, an effort issue twice a year, can you be consistent in that area? Can you be? Uh, I think the, the elite level teams are. Um, we're not there yet. Chris, first segment of the second half, you guys did win by a point or something. It felt like maybe a bit of a missed opportunity. They had like a crazy scramble that came back through three, and I just wondered if you also thought you could have made a little more ground there. Yeah, sure. I mean, there were times where Again, I go back to those 50-50 balls, uh, long rebounds. It just seemed like they were quicker to, to get to them, and uh, they snatched a few out of our hands, which is, is, is really frustrating. Um, and, you know, I, I just think that they played uh, like they wanted the game more, which, you know, you're in your own building. You know, you got one of the best teams in the country coming in, uh, regardless of the first result. Uh, you know, one would think, but. Again, hats off for, to Carolina. They, they they played really well. Coach, you mentioned just the hustle and effort. Was the play of Dwayne Sutton just kind of where you wanted everybody else to kind of be? Dwayne does that every night. Um, and we just uh, we didn't we, we didn't compete um, until in, until we were down way too far. You know, we're not playing. Uh, I mean, here's the thing: Carolina shoots six for twenty-four from three. You know, they, they they go two for nine in the first half. They don't really shoot a high percentage except, uh, you know, for the game. But our inability to, like, end possessions and get defensive rebounds, um, you know, we set the tone in the first half and never could get out of that hole. You know, we're playing a top 10, top 15 team in the country. Uh, but that's, to me, that, that, that was our issue is those 50-50 toughness plays. And uh, I'll be honest, guys, I, I, I'm at a loss right now. Cause it hasn't been an issue for us. Yep. Back to players,